Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Whoa, 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 we're back to here again? Alrighty then. Welcome back to another exciting episode of... Where's the freaking... I need to remember this. This is episode 2. This is episode 2, but I need to remember how to pronounce it. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the previous episode, we just woke up as Kaede Akamatsu. We were in the locker. We were being chased by some robots. We found other students. Turned out, they were all kidnapped as well, I think. I believe. They all lost their memories and the robots that were being piloted by stuffed bears. Yeah. Today's episode, I think we're still in the prologue, so if you're after this episode, make sure that like button is spoiled, great feature the channel. Huh? And how is this supposed to be remembering our memories? I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I, f I went from dazed to annoyed real- AGAIN WITH THE DIALOGUE! So we're still in the prologue? Alrighty then. I rubbed my throbbing fo- Yeah, there it is! The same- same dialogue. And it's different. Yeah, this is a classroom alright, but I didn't recognize it. If it's the same dialogue, I'm gonna speed on forward. Is this a dream? Alrighty then, we already did this again. I feel like this is like another chapter, because if you're reading a book, it has like something with the same dialogue then. Oh my gosh. Confused as I was, but no matter how I tried. Then the other guy, then Shuichi comes out. Why are we doing this again? Again! Like, I'm gonna read that all over again. All the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, Jim No Petty, number one, by Eric Satie. What? Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Huh? A teddy bear? Did we not just went over this? I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean, you humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree, I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono cubs. We're the stuffed animals. Okay, you just messed up right there. Piss, mono kid. You're saying your lines backwards. No, stuffed animals. What? What is this? What is this? What did- what am I doing right now? Hello? Where's the tutorial? Whatever. No stuff animals, us, the mono cubs, then. What is this supposed to be? Can we get to the tutorial stage, please? Jeez, it's even worse now. Mono Cubs? Yo, I was just moving the R button. You heard of us? Yeah, that's right. You think so? Oh, no, of course not. I never seen walking talking stuff animals. As soon as I said that, these Mono Cub things started looking at each other and it worked! 
You had me worried there for a second. Worry about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Alright, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're some dumb, reliable Monotaro. He's like a 6th grader helping out a 5th grader. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters... Where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? I never heard of a school like that. Of course you have it. This school was made for 16 Credens. 16? Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Ultimates? You know what Ultimates are, right? The government scouts scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious prodigious in particular talent. Basically the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known for Ultimates. Students would do anything for honor of being a chosen Ultimate. I don't need the explanation, I already know because I'm an Ultimate too. That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Yeah, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. What do you mean forgetting? Quit your yapping and get started already. Get started with what? Why explain, explain the, why exploring the academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all gonna do an activity together later. Awesome. I've got a rager right now. Well then. So long, farewell. Farewell. Shoot. They left, but I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find out of here. But they said there are 16 students here. Does that mean he's one too? You met him like... Alright. Let's go over with him. Hey. Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, well then. Ultimate detective? You're a detective? That's amazing. No. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective, detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. Mm. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name My is na Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Oh, we can do this. Not even bad. Kaede Akamatsu. Ultimate pianist. Mm. Ultimate Pianist. Well, no one calls me the Ultimate Pianist, usually just a piano freak. Huh? Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. But this is my first time being another Ultimate student. Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then some organization out there is trying to kidnap all the Ultimates. About that. I don't remember. You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I tried. But I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. I don't understand this part. I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. What was that? What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? 
I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But... It can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right. We're confused. We just need to relax. Is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's son team. Is that music? I don't really know much about music. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for our way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has to... has got to know something. Good idea. Obtain friendship fragment. You can leave a room by pressing the O button, circle button, or interacting with the door. I mean, wasn't there a fake of things? It's the same thing, isn't it? But this was never there before, was it? Oh no. Okay. We're exploring now, again. Even though it's a holiday, there's sure a lot of plants growing out around here. And the air is heavy. Impressively heavy as it's forcing you to recall your fear, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this inside. Some kind of mini tablet computer. Maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. You didn't even got one in the first place. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for. But I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. I agree. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press the, the square button to open the monopad. Stuff like report card and map, be sure to check it out. And if you got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed, while getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are acquaintance with Mr. Saihata, his info has already been added. And I bet you also already noticed you can level up by preferring actions. Alrighty then. When you level up, your skill slots increase so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds, be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure to save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Okay. Review the layout of the academy. This will help you find specific locations. Review evidence of witness accounts. Review whatever personal belongings. Review the report cards. Huh. This was the classroom we were in, right? Going in? It's locked? You're right. We have the map there. The piano room. Wait a minute, is this the music room? It won't open, but this room does look like it was made for me. Hey! They're here again! What do you think of this place? Check out all the fancy schmancy writing, it seems like a place for eggheads. Isn't this an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why would you tell them? Well, we, we were trying to make it all dramatic. I'm sorry. What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab. Well, we set up last for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we're, we're all hustled to get as all ready. Ready to install. Just wipe your asses and wait. That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? Mono Kid is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like a bully Mono Dam. He's just quiet. Alright. You're gonna get annoying. Seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey. Do you think there's really Do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? 
I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. Oh, I wanted, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Is there a way to get out of first person view? That's my question. I know it's cool and all. Ooh, camera. Nope. Straff. I don't understand. I know I can do this. But alrighty then, let's keep on going. There's something to our left. Hey, it's her. And a dragon statue. You're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Did she not hear me? Okay then. Hey, hello. What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's really detailed, detailed mannequin. No. I don't think that's the case. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said, I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But looks, but she looks so real. Try it, Sui Shuichi. Poke, poke. No thanks. Just do it. It's so fun. As I grab his hand to make him poke her other cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait. If you knew that, why did you make her poke her? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Well... Isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Yeah, conversation. But it's fine, I feel like talking now. Right. Now let's talk, what do you want to start with? My favorite Doraemon episode is number 53, the one with the security cameras on target practice. Before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? My name is Tsunuki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Huh? Ultimate cosplayer. You're a cosplayer? Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you've got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Kaede? You sound like a creepy old man. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. I'm just... I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their character. Right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Mm. You're pretty insane. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people that the outfits I made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Mm. Well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Yeah. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? We need to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. That bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. It looks more blue than bronze. It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Now that you mention it, you're right, it sort of bothers me too. This is the school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside, I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. And are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um. Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. That frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. Ugh. This again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our, pre our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Well, you're blonde. Wearing won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to get just be carefree. I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. So let's try to find a way out. Obtain Frenchman Fragment. 
Okay, let's check on the dragon real quick. What is this? It looks like a dragon statue. But why is there a dragon statue in the school hallway? No. I have no idea. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Still no idea. Huh. Let's see. I'm gonna... Maybe a few more minutes and we're gonna end the episode off. Because we just found a total. There's three. We got 13 more people to find. Yeah, we got like 13 more people to find. And the dialogue is gonna be pretty much long. You know? okay. Sure. Come oh, on, we're going in. We're actually going in. Hello. The toilet seems normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. We get to explore. Can you proceed? Mirrors. Sub dispenser. Enough of the monitor! Anything else? This is pretty much a normal restroom then. Alrighty then. Let's head back. Unless someone could be hiding in there. Okay, next up, next up. What is this? Wait! Which one's the map again? There you go. Yeah, let's toggle this a little bit. That looks like an art studio right there. No, that's classroom room A. Money? Huh. <sighs> Excuse me. I had no time to turn off the mic. Okay. So, we're gonna end the episode right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the next episode, we're gonna go talk to all the remaining students. But for right now, this is a short prologue episode again. Like, comment, subscribe, show up, because next TV and I'm signing out.